Okay. Just gonna get a notesman out there. And we should be good to go. I want to just check how things look on my end first. You guys can let me know too. Oh, this actually looks pretty solid. Okay, awesome. Let me make sure we have sound on though. Okay, can everyone like hear me and stuff? Sometimes I just like running a quick check on that. Let me know in chat. I have my chat open over there. Everything's good. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. So this is Battle Gems. I currently have it clipped just a tiny bit. Um, uh, uh, there's a menu bar right down here, which I'm not displaying because it makes the rest of everything look so much nicer. Okay, awesome. Um, well, let's just go ahead and get started then. So it's the it's the furry furry fury. It's really hard to say these things, honestly. We meet again, but this time I have come to test my power against you, my furry friends, and I challenge you to a friendly fight. There is alliteration like here, like crazy. I've already done the first fourteen fights for this part, so I don't need to um. Fight more than just this red, red Moglinster. And I remember Moglinsters back when they first were like invented for Moglini Mogluine. That stuff was awesome. The the old days of Arctic Entertainment. <laughs> this guy might beat me up though. I'm using a uh, Tetraphobia, which means that if I use four different gen types in a row, then everything after that gets like a huge boost if you keep using different gem types. Looks like we won this though. Wow, you're just too powerful for us. I should buy more items so I can beat you next time. Oh, it's Zardzilla, and this like just got launched now as a pet in um, Adventure Quest Worlds. I actually just grabbed the battle pet version of this. This is cool. Okay, let's fight this guy. Magic. Attacks. So now, like, oh yeah, this is gonna make things explode. <laughs> and Twilly just did approximately, like, 9,000 damage in a single hit there. Twilly is so overpowered and amazing. I love that Twilly is like freaking Yoda or something in this, because all the pets can use all the attacks, so you can have crazy things like Twilly one-shotting enemies. I might be dead here though, let's see. Nope, I live for now. Oh, and I potion stunned him, so I could do the double potion. Let's see if Twilly can come through for me again. No! Yeah, I'm dead. I'm actually running um, a really like low power playthrough. I'm purposely not buying a ton of things from the shop because I found that while this game is like spectacular, it's one of the actual best best mobile apps I've played in ages now. Um, it's pretty. It's on the easy side, but you can make it a lot harder on yourself. You don't buy items because it's that every single item you buy, it improves your actual power for the game. So not buying items can be a rewarding challenge. But I may have to buy a couple at this point. It looks like because this guy's hard. Oh. Yeah, he got me again. 
Give this one more try, and then buy a few more things from the shop. Twilly starts it off nice. Okay, okay. I guess I can keep going on this. Let's see. Welcome everyone who just showed up, by the way. Okay, so Twilly starts it off, and he's now poisoned too. That's a wonderful way to start. You don't have a ton of control over which special abilities actually go out in this game, but it's it's pretty cool. Oh, welcome, God of Hope. Okay, let's see here. I think I need to go back to a uh, pet now because I'm using Tetraphobia. Yeah, there we go. 3,090. That's the Tetraphobia buff right there. If I do this one, I can open up that potion for later use. Yeah, now I'm gonna thwomp him. Here we go. And he's down. Zardzilla was created in Battle Gems. Then, in a development chat we had, we discussed the new movie Godzilla releasing soon. Zardzilla hit the chat, decided to create Oh My Godzilla based on Zodzilla. AE Dev Knowledge. Boom. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that. Very interesting. Okay, so. Start off with the magic, I guess. Yay, now I have the potion sitting there for the Tetraphobia buff. I'm gonna go back to magic, and this will hit him for a ton of damage. And and the crit, beautiful. Magic. Get him, Twilly. Get him. I really wish, like, like in Nirvana, I knew that Twilly could apparently shoot fireballs, because this would have really been helpful. I mean, I brought you to, to Nirvana with me, uh, Twilly, but. You didn't shoot fireballs then. I don't know why you're holding back. Looks like we lost this one. Welcome back, Night Roar. And food is delicious. I just had turkey dogs and it was wonderful. And now we can use a little skull crit there, and that'll take him out. Two more for this quest. There's something big I can do with all of these. <laughs> There. Another perfect one there. Need the potion there. That was that was close. And Twilly poisoned him, so that's that's a win. We got this one. And boom! And I believe that is quest complete. Hooray! Okay, okay, you're right. The Zardzilla sequel's totally blow. Still, you got the sixth Drake Ball. Only one left until you have them all. I am so excited to collect all the Drake Balls and make a wish. <laughs> it's like it's just ridiculous how everything in this game has to be referenced. 
I have built this meditation garden to try and calm my restless spirit, but these freaking plants and rocks won't cooperate! Destroy them! Wow! The avatar is... has major anger issues. <laughs> Avaturd. Teehee. <laughs> See ya! Uh oh. Okay, I'm basically dead unless this gives me a mending. Yeah, okay, no mending. We're buying a couple of things. <laughs> Okay, here we go. This will hurt him. Nice. These slime levels are what's really tricky. So it's for, um, as long as there's slime left on the board, the enemy gets a slime shield. And then the slime shield, like, reduces damage really greatly that they take. Okay, good. Got that one down. Start off with Twilly, and then some magic, and then an attack, and then chain right into the potion, and then we go back to Twilly, and now Twilly's hitting for a ton. Got a double activated one there, so it's extra damage. Okay. So if I break these potions, we can get the Tetraphobia buff, and then I can use these guys. Great. Twilly, hit him. Yeah, the slime shields are really, really tough. Definitely. Whoa, I should not attack right now. I need to heal. I just noticed my health. I don't know if I can win this one. Yep, he got me. It's okay, it's okay. Maybe I should buy a couple more things. I'm making the game so much harder on myself by purposely not buying things. And the art in this game is so wonderful anyway. It's an Unguri pet! Buy a couple of pets. Mochi! Okay, open up with a big attack combo. And then let's do a big pet combo. Nope, didn't get the extra potion due to the uh, tetraphobia deal. So we'll switch into this instead. Oh, now I get my potions. Now I need my potions. Wow, big big hit there, and he's stunned, so I can go right into a pet attack. Attack, pet, spell, potion, more attack, and that should do it. There's not very many songs in Battle Gems, but the ones that there are are really catchy.
Oh, it's still saying I'm playing WoW? I thought I changed it already, like, ages ago. Yeah, it's changed on my screen. It says Battle Gems on my screen. Let me refresh, but I did change it. Oh, yeah, I changed right back. Look at that. I don't know why it went ahead and uh, changed itself off of the right game. Let me switch that. Oh, it logged me out. That's why it switched back. One sec, sorry about this, but I do need to um, change the title. Logged me out of my game, of my uh, account, I mean, on Twitch. Yeah, I changed all of this. I don't know why it changed itself back. That's really weird. Let me give it another refresh, make sure it actually changed that time. Okay, thank you for that. Now, where was I on killing this tree monster? Gotta minimize my window again. Pull this back up. Thank you. Okay, back to killing tree monsters. <laughs> Pet. Tree monster is is likely not going to die here. <laughs> I stunned him though, that's good. I have the uh, weird science one that lets you potentially stun with your potions, it's pretty cool. Oh. Pretty close, but not enough. Okay, back in on this. Wow, big hit with the attack there. See if Twilly can finish him off. And he can. Ooh, there's a really big combo that's just like sitting there. Because this whole skull thing, I can use all of that. And Twilly just hit for, for like over 10,000 damage if you add in the poison. That was ridiculous. And I have calmed the Avatar. <laughs> Avatar. <laughs> Bad anime. Ah, oh, the monsters in the anime film festival are coming to life! I knew I shouldn't have used the Drake Ball as a lens! Stop them! It's the hentai. Uh, potion. <laughs> Some of the references in here are kind of obscure and I just gotta say them out loud. <laughs> okay, these are much easier than the slime monsters, because now I can basically just face roll these. Like, use whatever the heck. Doesn't matter. Boom. Boom. It's Octo Bear! Not quite as frightening as Octo Dad. 
slightly below the level of Octodad. Ooh, big potion here. Yeah, it barely healed me for anything, but I did get the defense up. Like how I got an anime monster pelt by killing some girl named Omni. That that's a little bit disturbing. Oh, we were so close. Back into the battle. The game sometimes, even if you lose, it's not like bad because you can get back into the gameplay so fast, so it's never too frustrating. It's kind of nice. Not every game needs to be on like Dark Souls level of difficulty. <laughs> Yeesh, I don't have very good uh, board here, I didn't use it very well. If I survive this next round, I'll have potions, but yeah, no. Okay, try this again. It's a nine-tailed fox. And this should definitely kill him. Wow. Tanuki Warrior. And Twilly for the win. Where where is Twilly? You did it! We are going to have a hard time living up to this during next year's anime festival. Please, get rid of this Drake Ball for me. You have all seven! So I've gotten all seven of the Drake Balls and Van Gogh the Ninja Turtle Pet. Okay, which means we are on to the boss. Wow! That's a rather, rather big step up in looking kind of epic and frightening very quickly. You have gathered all the Drake Balls and summoned me. That's right. Now you have to give me infinite wisdom. If that is your wish, then it is granted. But first, fight me. Have you passed Kirby Seas? No. Buy items for this boss fight, someone says. No! I refuse to buy items unless I absolutely must. Wait, I get a wish? I take it back! I want a million more wishes! Too late, you have made your wish! No backsies! Darn, no backsies. I don't need items, I can do this. I totally have it, come on. Starting off with magic. And then we have all of this stuff to deal a huge attack with. More magic. Okay, I can see why this one might be a little bit tricky. I'm understanding where you're coming from. I just need a little bit more potions or to get lucky and get a mending. Here we go. No, I think I can get them. Even with how few items I've actually bought, I might have this. It's gonna be close though. Definitely go back to the potions, rather use them than not. And now we have all of these magic things.
Oh, he has a tiny bit of health left. Which means I have to finish him off. Yes! See? I don't need, like, better items. I have, I have Twilly, and Twilly will always heal me. That is why I spawned enough heals. <laughs> it's the photo op! Oh, that is, that is amazing. And what's even better is that this photo op has now been immortalized via, via live stream, so. Fantastic. Well done, hero! Here's your reward. Gives you a fortune cookie, which reads, Real wisdom only comes from experience. You got ripped off. Wow, this, this dragon is kind of a loser. <laughs> New power! Master of Strategy! Oh, I forgot what that one does. Do you get infinite wisdom? I could only ha- I could have had a million wishes. But thanks to you, I got a fortune cookie. Oh, bummer. My bad. What did the fortune cookie say? Some junk about real wisdom being earned through experience. Oh, well, where's the fortune? I got hungry, so I ate it. What? You're only supposed to eat the cookie! Really? See, I'm getting wiser already. Wow. Okay! <laughs> So we have successfully won that. I want to check out actually what this power does. Selecting a different kind of gem every turn increases damage dealt. So if I combine this with Tetraphobia, it's going to deal a ton more damage. Because I'm already using the Tetraphobia power, which means if you've used a different gem, um, if the last four gem selections were different, then you get a buff. So if I remove one of these, like a critical bit, here we go. That should definitely be a good decision. The planets are about to line up. Matt Damon will soon arise to burn the world to ashes. Sound dra sounds dramatic, man. How do we stop it? Thok thinks you can't stop it. Only prepare for Matt Damon. I heard he's a pretty nice guy. Different guy. No relation. Thok understands your confusion. I have no choice. I must destroy Matt Damon to save Lore. This game. Just, just, this game. This game. Hot Topics. This, uh, this is the awesome Matt Damon will return. He needs sacrifice. Wow. Blinding Cleave Upgrade. The Spice of Unlife. The legendary Red Rooster Hot Sauce is the most sought after in all the world and enhances everything with plus 100 flavor and it's all mine. And it's the, it's the Hemo Goblin. Hemo Goblin. Get it? Get it? Cause he's, cause he's blood red. Like Hemoglobin. I'm an anatomy expert. Also, the hemoglobin might beat me. <laughs> goblin. Hemogoblin. <laughs> Forgetting the own uh, pun here. Okay. Oops. Yeah! You found Sriracha! <laughs> starting it off. I love the wind effects in this game, they're so cool. Oh, 
I lost. I might have to buy a couple new things or check out what's in the shop for uh, this area. Wow, big heal. That was really worthwhile. And we're gonna perfect here to finish him off. Wonderful. I will get all of the plus 100 flavor bottles. This game is weird, and when you stop and realize, like, what you're saying when you try to pro provide commentary on it, it's just, yeah. You know, let's says, I'm sorry, I am responsible for some of these puns, XD. You know, I, I'm responsible, I think, for a couple of them, too, um, over in, like, Castlepania and, um, uh, Scurvy Seas. I think I, I was in the twi uh, stream that Ar Adam was doing where he decided on a bunch of those and was asking everyone for ideas. I think I thought of a couple of them that were pretty good and got used, so I'll have to see if I recognize any of my own. It'll be fun to see. <laughs> Battle! No potion to jump into next. Shame. Big spinny hit. Go, Twilly, go! Oh, he's poisoned. Wonderful. Don't have a lot of options open. Wow, that one was dispatched pretty quick. I'm at 9 out of 15 for fighting the Hemo Goblins. Good. Nice. The explosion of energy. Wow! Yeah, when you do a poison attack, what happens is it also applies the poison for that turn. Like, for that turn, and it's really impressive. Nightroar says, I've never seen this in BG, getting the whole board full of one gem type. I'd be amazed by that, but it's like a 0.0000, etc, etc, 1% chance of happening. Still, it would be pretty awesome. I actually like, um, there's a couple of levels where that's the point, that it is actually filled with just one gem type. So I've seen those, and those are always really fun, because you can do like a crazy spirally thing outwards, and then it just like one shots, and it's just a kind of gimmick level, but they're fun. No, I did that wrong. Clicked wrong. Because for those watching this who might not know what Battle Gems is, um, when there's a skull, you want to actually activate as many gems on all sides of it as possible. Because if you get it on multiple sides, it actually increases the damage. Yeah, um, one of the ways you can actually make more things pop up is there's actually a power... There's a couple powers that do stuff like this, but... Like, uh, Wizardry, which doesn't always seem to work for me on the Android version. I have no idea if it works on this or not, but I can't actually get it to work. It says, uh, perfect magic selections changed. I think that would be an always thing, but it seems to be, like, really rare or something. I'm not sure how it works, but... 
Uh, Zookeeper does the same thing. It turns another gem type into pet gems. It doesn't consume the gems. So there, there's ways to try to get everything on the board. Yes, you should definitely get this game. It's really, really addicting and really fun. And it's kind of like, it's one of the only puzzle games like this you can actually play and still feel like you're actually playing a video game versus just some silly web app. So it's really fun. You can also, like, if you just have Facebook, you can play this. That's how I'm actually streaming this right now, is just right off of Facebook. I don't have any uh, fancy kind of capture card technology or anything. You stole my last bottle of Sriracha, you monster! Poor guy. Learned Ice Blast. I'm gonna throw out another tweet and just let people know that I'm still doing this, um, but one sec. Sorry, one sec. It's just like, like, what, what is this game sometimes, you know? Back to doing stuff. So what do we have here? The Fire Distinguisher! Matt Damon is nothing compared to me. I'll give you an autograph on your cold, dead corpse! Wow. Exciting. Okay, so, pet attack, zap him, Twilly. Oh wow, yeah, that, that is a really cool setup that you just posted, that's really cool. All crazy in a big spiral in circles. It's very fancy. I think of one, let's see. There we go. Uh, yep, now I can go right into an attack. This will be a perfect hit and should kill him. Wonderful. I love the art on these flame minions, though. They're really impressive. Like, even just for a chibi style, these are pretty cool. Twilly, go! Yeah, Twilly nearly one-shot him. Wonderful, I can finish him off. Good job, Twilly.
Wow. Yeah, they're going down. God of Hope says, Wow, Zach, you think really quick. Yeah, well, thank you. It's honestly because, um... So my, my favorite puzzle game ever next to this now is, uh... Pokemon Puzzle League, a.k.a. Panel de Pawn, a.k.a. Tetris Attack. Um, I've probably played it for, like... I don't know, half a year's worth of playtime at least. I'm, I'm really, really good at it. So, puzzle games are not too challenging for me by and large. They're fun though, I love puzzle games. It'll always be one of my favorite genres. Gotta go into potions. There we go. Let's see here. There we go. Attack! Potion! Mend it up! Launch the attack! Go! More magic! And now hit him, Twilly! Yeah! Now I strike again. And Potion Vial hits him. It's like a windy Potion Vial, that was crazy. This one might be cutting it close. Okay, yes, very close, but I got him. Okay, hope to see you again, Nightstream. Pet attacks. Go into magic. More attack, and then potions. Perfect, now we can use this for a perfect hit which is also empowered by Tetraphobia and Master of Strategy. Delayed reaction on my potion there. <laughs> I get a flurry upgrade if I win this, that's cool. Okay, start off with an attack. Twilly takes over. More magic. So all the pets are actually like the same in this game, technically. But Twilly's just awesome. I like Twilly. That's why I came with Turnvana. Zorbak did come with, uh, with me too. He just didn't hang out in my pocket all day. Should be able to finish them off. Yep. One more for this quest, and then it's complete. Yeah, this weapon, this weapon that this guy has, so cool looking. <laughs> Is 
Say hi to your mom for me. Oh, he totally tried to burn me because he's a fire elemental. So he tried to he tried to burn me. <laughs> Ooh. So we have the whole lava going on in this level, so you gotta use um, things to try to lower the lava stream. So if we go into this, that'll be a really big hit. There we go. So we got this guy over here, got this one over here. You're fired! Don Skull Trumpet. <laughs> You're fired! Wonderful. The references in this game. Time for your employee evaluation. It looks like you've been playing way too many mobile games. We hate to see you go- Okay. Attack him, and then Twilly, hit him. Oh, and now we have access to a huge magic attack here. And then we can finish him off with Twilly. Wow, 7,101, 11. Oh, but I didn't actually get the uh, item drop, apparently. That's weird. See if I got that time. Nope. So I actually, I'm, I'm trying to get fired by the by the dawn, and in order to do that, I need to continuously try to beat him in order to get fired. It seems like that's not wise. Hello, MRPR Forever. Don't know if I'm saying your name right. Merper Fever. Merper Fever. Hello. Sorry, I butchered your name. <laughs> I butcher everyone's name, so it's it's okay. Yeah, everything is is very interesting in this game. There's some references that are at a slightly higher age level than they tend to actually aim their humor at in other Arx Entertainment games. So, so some of those are rather amusing, but then there's just a lot that are like jokes no one is going to get basically unless someone explains it to you that really knew it, so. I, I'm completely certain there is no one person on the planet who could actually catch every single reference in this entire game. Like there's some really obvious easy ones, like this is obviously Donald Donald Trump, so that that's like easy, you know? But some of them are really hard. Does he ever fire me, or do I just have to keep fighting him? Come on, won't you fire me? I want to be fired. One of the only times you actually, like, hear someone want to say that. Yo, what's up with this guy? Okay, we're going over here. Whoa! Strong hit there. I think I might have lost. Yeah. Um, powers I have equipped right now, the Nerd Sage asks. By the way, Nerd Sage is an awesome name. Oh, whoops, that was not powers. 
Power is have equipped. I'm using Master of Strategy, Beast Master, Weird Science, and uh, Tetraphobia. The Crockpot. Hey man, like I've totally got the munchies right now. Hey, you look like a tasty treat. <laughs> Again, some of the some of the jokes here that are a little bit higher age level than most other Arctic games. Okay, let's see here. So he's immune to magic attacks, which means I can't actually just use this in the center and deal a ton of damage to him, so that's weird. So I've gotten, gotten two votes to switch to a different game than Battle Gems, which I could do. Because I've done an hour of this, which was actually the initial plan was an hour of Battle Gems and then switch to something else. Battle Gems doesn't work with my top... It should be working. There's no reason that this shouldn't... Um, be streaming to Twitch tablets in particular. Dead though. Let's see if I can beat this guy. I think the trick might actually just be break all the magic things, get him off the board. Welcome to everyone who just showed up. I just noticed a bit of a jump in numbers of viewers. Okay, we beat him. Yeah, let's see what I can switch to. Let's, uh, let's see. I'll have to readjust the stream really quick, though. <laughs> 